my name is Adelson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com and in this video I'll be talking about how you can set up an event with the events module that people can subscribe, that people can sign up to that event. Okay, so we have here a, a, a test site, a demo site. I have uh, an events page and I have the events module placed in this page and we do have uh, an event already set up but uh, if I go to this event, there's no way here for me to to sign up for this event, to say that I'm going to this event. So let's go back uh, to the main page. Let's log in to the back end of the site as host level. You can either do that as host or admin. I'm going to log in as host. Um, then I go back to the events page. Then from here, we go to the action menu of the module and we go to settings. Now this module has a lot of settings, a huge, huge amount of settings and I'm not going to go through each one of them. I'm just going to focus on what we need to accomplish today, which is how to allow people to subscribe, to sign up for an event. So scroll down and go to the section that says enrollment settings. And then you can check the box that says permit, permit event enrollment so check that box and events can be paid or free in case you want to create an event that is paid you can use PayPal to collect the money and you can uh, put uh, your PayPal email account here where it says PayPal account or you can just leave like this if the event is not paid you don't need to care about that if the event is paid and you want to use PayPal which at this point I think it's the only uh, payment uh, method that will be uh, acceptable via this module, then you can put your PayPal email address. But again, let's ignore that for now. This will not be a paid event, but this event will permit enrollment. Uh, so that, that's basically it. So let's, let's stick with that. Let's update here. So now we just uh, set up that uh, this module will uh, allow for events to have a sign up option, to have a subscription option. Now, if we go to the event that we want to allow sign ups, let's go to the details of that event and let's click edit. Then from here, because we have set that this module will accept signups, enrollment, then a new section will show up, which is called allow enrollment. And yes, in our case, we're going to allow that now. Before I finish the setup, let me also show how this module is looking like from, a, from an end user point of view. So right now, modules look like this. If I click the event, there's no sign up option here. There's nothing. I can only see the details and that's it. But let's go back there. We said that we're going to allow enrollment. We're going to say that if this is free or a paid event, if it's paid, we will specify how much the payment will be. And we can also specify the PayPal account that we want to link to those payments. But in our case, it will be a free, free event. And uh, I can also specify the maximum number of people that can enroll uh, to this event. If we keep zero, then uh, there will be no limit, but we can specify a limit, let's say, of 10. Well, that's a small party. Let's put it 50. Uh, enrollment, enroll list on detail view will basically allow other uh, people that are seeing this event to see who else is coming to this event. So the entire enrollment list will be shown to the to the users. Uh, the other option is enrollment role. I can specify that only some, only users from a certain role will be able to enroll in this event. In our case, we're going to keep it none, and none will mean that all registered users will be able to enroll in this event. Um, Enroll user to event. Basically, here you can you can enroll a user uh, directly into the event without having them signing up for the event. 
in our case, there are no users in the website yet, aside from the admin and host. So there's nothing here in the dropdown for me to enroll. And down here, it will eventually show the names of the enrolled users. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save this and we're going to create two users in the site so we can enroll them into the site and see what they see as well. So let's click update first of all. So we have saved the settings. Now this event will be an enrolled event. If we go back and see how this looks like from an end user point of view, uh, we can see that there is this new icon here, and which is basically saying that the, uh, enrollment is enabled. If we go and see the details, now we have a, a link that says login to enroll for this event. Now here's the thing you have to be a registered user to be able to enroll in an event. So um, the way uh, the events module works is that if you want people to enroll to an event, they need to be part, they need to be registered users of the website already. Okay, now I'm gonna click there and I don't have a test user yet. I'm gonna create one new user. I'm gonna register to the website as, a, as I was just a regular user. So I have just set up the information for a new user. I'm going to click register. Now as a registered user, I can enroll for this event. So I can click here. Are you sure you want to enroll? Okay. Okay. So now I'm enrolled in this event. If I go back to uh, Firefox where I have host access, I and I check the details of this event. Let's see how what we see there as an admin. Now I can go and click edit. And I should be able to see John as a registered uh, as someone registered to this event. You see here, enrolled users, I can see John and when uh, he enrolled in the event. See the cur the current enrolled uh, counter has increased. Uh, I can manage John here. I can uh, delete uh, him from the event. Now let's let's check this box here where it says enroll list on on detail view. Uh, with this box checked, uh, a regular user will be able to see who else is registered for that event already. So let's click update. And now. If we go back as a regular user, as I can see here, I'm logging in as John. And if I refresh this page, I'm looking at the, the uh, event details. Now I can see that I'm, I'm part of the event. If I log out and I go to the event page as a regular, as a, as a non-logged uh, in user, I can see as, as you can see here, we can see the list of people that are already enrolled in this event. So basically, this is how you can set up an event with the events module from .NET Nook. Uh, and you can allow that event to have uh, people signing up for that event, showing the list of people that have enrolled. And that's basically it. Thank you very much. Bye.